Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. That's about a half an hour north of Denver. My name is Larry Vickers. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the used pickups we have on the lot. This is a 2012 Ford F350. The trim package is Lariat. The truck has just a touch over 72 thousand miles so if we take a look at the given scenario and see that we're the type of trailer that we're hooked up to today this is really what this truck was designed to do and that's tow trailers very similar to this one and as you can tell these two kind of pair up and match really nicely so if you're interested in a high quality pre-owned both truck and trailer give us a call and we'll see if we can put a deal together and package some things up that makes it useful for both of us so as we take a look at the truck, we're gonna talk about today what makes this 12 F350 different than the other ones we see running around, you know, and, and why buy from TransWest as well. Well, on this particular truck, this comes with the FX4 off-road. Uh, basically what that means is there's protection, they're called skid plates underneath the truck. So if you happen to be out off-roading, if you're out in a pasture, things of that nature, the underneath of that truck is protected. So that's one thing that really guarantees you longevity in terms of how the truck is made by the protection that it has. Another thing this truck has that some of the other ones don't is this comes with 20 inch rims compared to some of the smaller wheels that you see. I noticed on, on the, this particular truck that that is a little bit different. Another thing this truck comes with, and we can actually see it a little better once we get in front, is this truck comes with the chrome package. So as you can see, there's a lot of chrome on this truck. Not only the running boards that we saw on the side view profile, but all along here, down along the bumper as well. So those are a couple of things that makes this truck a little bit different than the other ones we see. It comes with really large headlights. As we continue to pan on down, fog lights located on each side. In addition, tow hooks there and there. As we take a look underneath the hood, that's the power stroke, 6.7 liter engine. It offers 450 horsepower. It's coupled with Ford's six-speed transmission. So now we're talking about a high-quality engine that Ford is producing. And this one's been around oh, a little bit over a decade now and it really seems to be going good and lasting people without a whole lot of issues. So that's a really nice improvement Ford made simply by bringing everything back home and having their own engineers design the engine. So that's the engine underneath the, underneath the hood. As we start to walk around, we can see the front end suspension located right there. Right here is the Lariat Super Duty F350 badge. Here's the power stroke. I mentioned that it comes with running boards here, which do have some traction on them. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, both seats are heated and vented. Here is where we make adjustments. In addition, this is the dimmer for the dash. It does come with memory seats. So if we press one, that seat goes back to where we want it to be. This adjusts the mirrors. This button here extends and retracts the mirrors. So that's something that's good for when we have a trailer on, such as we do now. 
when we take a look in the back seat. This back seat pops on up and there is a container here to hold our belongings so they're not sliding all over the place. In addition, a floor mat which runs the entire length of the truck. Underneath here is where we add our fuel and the def. You can get about 350 miles per one gallon of def. From here, we can kind of take a look and see how the hitch is set up. Now, we don't have lights or safety chains. That's simply for video purposes only, but it does come with that gooseneck ball. As we walk on through, we can see it does come with a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. So I realize that there's thousands of dealerships out there. Well, so why buy from TransWest? Well, there's a few, few reasons. One is the quality of product that you're getting. All of our pre-owned vehicles are taken to certified mechanics and thoroughly inspected before they're ever put out on the market. Second is price. We are very competitively priced no matter where you choose to look us up via Auto Trader, Cars.com, things of that nature. You will see that we're very competitively priced. And third is that we care about our customers. I mean, TransWest has a great reputation and there's a reason for that. If you do come in to look at the truck, you'll notice a completely different environment compared to a lot of the car dealerships. We don't have a bunch of piranhas out here waiting to attack you to get your business. That's simply not how we work. We make sure that the truck best fits your needs. At that time, we go in, sit down and visit a little bit, and hopefully we can come up with an agreement for both parties. If not, we simply shake hands and part as friends, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, on this truck, what I wanted to show, it does have a little ding right there due to a shopping cart. So I try to be as transparent as possible. So I just wanted to make you guys aware that that is there. As we take a look in the back seat, it does come with a couple of chargers right up there. In addition, right there is the vents to blow hot and cool air. A look inside the passenger seat. In the glove box, not only does it come with the original manuals right there, but also the original sticker. This seat is also heated and vented. So let's crawl on in and take a closer look. And we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. The truck comes with a moonroof located right here. In addition, sunglass holder here. Underneath the visor, vanity mirror right there. And as we come on down, just like all Ford products, this uses the sync system. As you can see the radio here, the truck comes with a map kind of lets you know where things are. The destination button, which will allow you, basically it's navigation to get you where you want to, want to be. When it comes to the phone, uh, we will Bluetooth, have all that set up for you. We'll get your Bluetooth to your phone set up and ready to go. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. In addition, on the radio, as you can see, it comes with presets located right there. We'll get all of that set up and ready for you before you leave. It does come with six options for uh, CDs as well. This truck is four wheel drive, so we can turn it from, obviously we're two wheel drive right now, to high or low right here. Right here is for our fan. There's defrost both front and rear. 
air condition over here and you can set it to auto which is simply set the temperature where you want it to be and that will happen inside the cab i mentioned heated and vented seats for both the front the driver and passenger that is located right here the trailer brake located right here and this does have some auxiliary switches so if you wanted to hook up a couple of different things to it you can cup holders located right here in addition the console is right here and this is removable as we take a look at the steering wheel some things we can do we can seek our radio and adjust the volume right here and I mentioned Bluetooth where you can answer the phone simply by pressing a button here cruise control is located on this side so a very nice high quality pre-owned pickup we have on the lot today this is stock number 5u21 1905. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, maybe I'll pull that out later. Um, just kidding. As you can see, it's pretty cold out here today. We got ice all over the place. So uh, I might give you guys some entertainment today. You can see right here. Uh, I'm going to try my best not too far right here on my asphalt. Uh, it's it's kind of wet. Probably wouldn't feel too good. Uh, today I'm going to walk you guys through this 2019 Newmar Bay Star Sport. This is the 3307 floor plan. It's on the Ford chassis with the Ford V10. So you get 320 horsepower, 460 foot pounds of torque. This is a great beginner coach uh, on the gas lineup. Uh, if you want good quality, uh, but you want to start, you don't want to go high end, million dollars, the Bay Star Sport's a really good place to start. Uh, we're gonna start right up front here. You can see this one's going to have your 19 and a half inch wheels versus the 22 and a half that you would get on a base star. This one's got your wheel simulators. Looks really sharp, but they're not the Alcoas that you would get on a base star, okay? We do have a nice awning out. So when the sun shines, we do have that uh, so we can hang out underneath, barbecue. Have a couple of nice cool drinks when the sun comes out. And for 33 footer, we got, a, we got quite a bit of storage. This front compartment here, one thing I want to point out and I'll show it again inside, but this right here is a 1000 watt inverter. There's a switch for it inside that I'll show you. If you're going down the road and you don't want to fire up your generator because, but you still want to watch TV, you can turn that on and access the TV without your generator. Here's a really nice size storage compartment with pass-through storage to the other side. Good place to put your fishing rods, your skis, any of those long items. This is going to have a water tank behind here that's covered, as you can see. Nice and insulated. All right, in this compartment, we're gonna have a couple things. You're gonna have a 110 outlet. You're also gonna have a cable port right there. In case you're staying at a park that has cable, you just plug in. If you have an exterior portable satellite, you could also connect it. Also, uh, tank here, and then just some electronics down in there. But plenty of room to put some smaller items. Right here's going to be your own and quiet gasoline engine or generator. It's a 5500, which again will give you plenty of power. If you're out boondocking, fire that baby up and uh, you'll get to run all your items inside. Okay, here's another nice pass through storage.
This floor plan has two slides. You can see one right here. The back, this is going to be where your bed slides out. So this is going to be your bed slide, which we'll see inside. All the slides will have uh, carefree slide toppers up top, so debris and weather uh, stays kind of out of the top of your slide, keeps any leakage from happening. On the back here, you'll see we still have a, a ladder. More and more coaches are getting away from the ladders. This one has a ladder, so you can climb up top. You got your backup camera, a nice window back here, scene window, uh, gives you lots of natural lighting on the inside as you'll see when we go inside. Down here you can have your receiver hitch and seven pin connector. The base star has 5,000 pound towing, full body paint, as you can see a beautiful paint job, it does have full body paint, no decals. On this side, you're going to see our full wall slide. Full wall slide is nice. When it comes out, you get a ton of square footage inside. Uh, just a lot more spacious inside with that full wall slide. Down here, I've opened the compartment so I don't have to climb under the slide. This first bay is going to have your power cord. Also your surge protector in the back there, transfer switch and then two more bay, two more storage compartments. This is a gasoline engine. Again, it's on the Ford chassis. So as you can see right here, this is where you would put your fuel. It's gasoline, not diesel, and that's why the cap is not green. Okay, this bay here, you're gonna have your, your water hookups. So this is where you would fill in your, your fresh tank. You're also going to have a tank here. You can see these are actually your sensors to monitor how much uh, liquid is in the tank. Their exterior, which is nice, they don't get dirty. Um, it's just a much better way to go than having the internal ones. Over here on this end, you're going to see your low point drains in the back over there and also your sewage dump. There is a cap right here. It's kind of hard to see. That's where you would run your sewer hose through the compartment. Okay, we have two more storage compartments coming up here. There's your hose for your winterizing. Each compartment does have a light. And then here you're going to have your propane tank. It's a 25 gallon propane tank, which will run your furnace, your hot water heater. We come around the front here. You're going to see this does have turn signal cameras, one on each side. It's a gas coach, so your engine's right behind here. It's a little top secret. I'm not going to pop this open because uh, we're making some changes to that flux capacitor. I don't want to spoil the news for you, but uh, that's why I'm not going to open that up today. All right, that's a quick walk around on, around the exterior. Now we can go on the inside where it's a little bit warmer. Well, actually, I'm going to let you come on in and then a couple things I want to point out by the door. You're going to have your fire extinguisher as you walk up, walk in the door there on the right hand side right next to the passenger seat. Then on this side, there's actually a nice little access panel to get under the sink. Also good storage for cleaning supplies. Another way to get to them. Makes it really nice and simple. You've got your lights here and then your kitchen fan. This fan can be a good friend of yours if, uh, if you're not the best at cooking in the kitchen. You know, you're not the most talented in there. You start some fires. Turn on your fan, it'll get all the smoke out of your coach. Hopefully you can do it before anybody notices. And no, I'm not speaking from experience, or maybe I am. Right over the sink, you're gonna have some really good storage. You can see right here, we have our Newmar owner's manuals. This shelf is adjustable, as you can see right here on the side, you can put it up a little higher, or a little lower. And then right here on this door, we can kind of 
zoom in here. You're going to see all your Numar information. This is going to give you the info on your coach. So this one's got the Mustang exterior. It's going to give you all your color codes. Right here, you're going to have your Numar serial number. So if you ever have issues and you have to contact Numar support, this is where you want to go to get all the pertinent information they're going to ask you for. All right, we do have a double sink here. Solid surface countertops. If your New Year's resolution was to lose weight, work out, this is a good one to start with and work your way up. All right, as you can see here, our setup is a really nice one in this base star. Those of you that like to cook on gas stoves, Base Star is a really nice one. You get three burners, you get an actual oven as opposed to convection. You got your exhaust fan, and then you got a nice microwave. So it's a small kitchen, but it's got everything you need to burn your favorite foods. <laughs> All right, here's the front access to the sink here underneath the sink, again cleaning supplies, and then you got plenty of drawers for your utensils, your remotes, all right, then you're going to have your refrigerator, this is a dual mode refrigerator so we'll run off of electric or propane and I have your freezer up here with ice maker if you're moving up to a base star from a class C you can see much larger refrigerator a lot more more room for your groceries and you got a really nice size pantry on this one as well All right, here's our entertainment setup here. So we have our TV. You've got plenty of storage up here for, you know, video games. If you want to put, uh, if you want to hook up a PlayStation or something, you can store your movies, your DVDs up here. And again, more storage with adjustable shelves down here. Now, I want to work my way back up here to the front. A couple things I want to point out on this. This has the booth dinette that does turn into a sleeping area. So this table drops down. You feel that there's a cushion in the closet that I'll show you that feels that basically sits on top of the, count, the tabletop. But one of the things that's really cool about this base star is if you need additional storage, if you got some really big pans, <laughs> Really big pots and pans. Look at all that storage you've got underneath the seat. And it's the same on both sides. So linens, extra uh, pillows and blankets. If you want to put your puzzles, whatever you want to hide in there, you got plenty of room to, to hide it. Again, same on this side. This is a full-size sofa. It does have a sofa bed that pulls out of here. So it'd come all the way out to there. It's got an air up, uh, inflatable mattress that you plug in. And I gotta tell you, I'm not usually a fan of the darker colors, but I really like the way this dark brown goes with the rest of the colors in this, in this coach. a little more light some nice overhead compartments here over the couch and you can see if you're sitting there eating lunch eating dinner uh, breakfast actually you got a lot of natural lighting in this coach which is really really nice now if that wasn't enough 
pantry space for you. You do have a, a huge closet here with additional shelves. You can use that for towels or if you need additional pantry space, you could use that as well. And this would be the cushion that you actually put over the dinette to make that into a bed. A lot of room to hang up all your clothes. You got dresses, your slacks, your suits. If you like to entertain and dress up, that's where you hang up your three-piece suit. I've got one, but I think I've used it. Last time I used it was probably two, three years ago. Uh, I'll use it when I have to. Really deep uh, drawers under the, the closet here. Actually, if anybody, any of you guys that live here in the Denver area, I'm looking for a place to take my wife out this weekend, maybe on Sunday, have a nice fancy dinner so I could dress up, wear a tie. So if you have any uh, suggestions, send me a text, email, or give me a, give me a call and tell me what, uh, what you recommend. Again, so you have the huge closet there in the main area back here. You're going to have additional storage for all your clothes. There is a rod up here so you can hang clothes. These shelves are adjustable or removable. So if you want to give, give her uh, that big closet and you take this little one, that's probably a good idea. Again, you're going to have some more drawers under here. You've got four total under the dresser here, and then you're going to have your... This is where you put your uh, receiver, your DVD player, and then you have one more drawer under there. This is a queen size bed. And in case you're wondering where do I put my long rifles when I'm out, where do I hide them, here's plenty of room to, again, you can put more comforters, more pillows. A lot of folks these days are, are you know, traveling with their protection, so that's a good spot to put it, hide it, keep it out of the way. And this was the slide out that we showed outside in the corner. So it just has two slide outs. One of the benefits to two slide outs, and I know I've talked about it before, is it really gives you a lot more walking room when you're when the slides are in and you're going down the road. I also want to point out um, this has two rooftop air conditioners, two Dometics. You don't see those in here, right? So you're going to see two sets of vents going down the middle of the coach, all the way down to the front of the of the coach here. One of these is going to be your return air, and the other one's going to be the output. So you're going to get the cold air out of one, and then it's going to do the return air out of the other one, which is really nice, a nice clean look. Keeps the uh, air conditioner and the heat pumps working a lot longer. It's just a better way of doing it. Up here in the front, oh, you know what? I got distracted there. Let me show you guys the bathroom. This is a single bath. It's really spacious. You got the corner shower with plenty of elbow room. You got a medicine cabinet. Good storage and access under here. You get a couple, couple drawers. Back in here, there's actually some additional storage that's kind of hidden in the corner here. Nice shower, it does have a little skylight up there. Right behind the toilet, you're gonna have some additional storage, and of course your breakers, and your fuses with some spare fuses as well. Uh, 
of nice thing. You have a nice size window there. Again, lots of natural lighting in this uh, base star. 33 foot, but you get a ton of windows. Now up front, you can see I have this chair turned around. Both of the captain's chairs do swivel. Gives you a nice little living area. Up top here, this is going to be your main battery disconnect. Right now, I'm not plugged into power. I don't have the generator running. We're just on battery power right now. So you can see this will tell you if you're plugged into 30 amp or 50 amp. This is going to give you your tank levels. So this has 60 gallons of gray, 40 gallons of black, 75 gallons of fresh water, and you have 80 gallons of fuel on this coach. Uh, right here is your step uh, override, so if you don't want your entry steps to come in and out, that's where you would shut that off. Here's your water pump, your slide out, your main slide out, that full wall slide that I talked about. Awning controls, and then here's that thousand watt inverter I showed you outside this is where you would turn that on and then your water heater here this is for the electric element and then your gas element up front I'm not gonna sit down today so I can kind of give you a better view here you're gonna have your this does have auto leveling it's got an equalizer system basically you get to your campsite Get your slides out, you're going to push power and hit auto level. Basic controls on the left side here, you're going to have your lights, your mirrors. You can move your, both of the mirrors. This is your heat on the mirrors. You're going to have your overhead fans, so you have one on each side of the windshield here up top. And then you're going to have your generator start and stop and also your battery boost. So again, that's the button you hold this down. If you leave the lights on, your chassis, chassis battery is going a little low, you would hold that while you start it up. Gives you a little extra jump start without having to bug somebody for some booster cables. On your Ford chassis steering wheel here, it's pretty simple. You've got your cruise control on off, your, your accelerate, your coast and resume. Not a lot of fancy stuff on this, pretty simple. It's just it's just a Ford chassis. Not a, not a lot of uh, surprises with this one. You got your windshield washers on this side, your turn signals. Right here's where you change your gears. So you just slide it down to go to reverse, neutral, drive. So you can see it does have tow haul mode right here. So you'd push that button. This does come with your Rand McNally navigation. You've got your radio XM capability, Bluetooth, and then your backup camera and turn signal cams come on the Voyager display right there. You've got a couple of JBL speakers right up top here, right next to the fans on each side. And then up top, we got some more storage. So this does not have the TV up front, which a lot of folks don't want the TV up here. They actually would rather have more storage. If you're like me and you like to watch TV while you're driving down the road, it comes in handy. I don't recommend it though. Then here's where you have your uh, HDMI setup, your DVD player right here, your Wi-Fi Ranger. You can set up a lot of more electronics right on that shelf. All right, I think that's the walkthrough. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have questions on this coach, any other coach that you see on the website, you want to give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. You need additional pictures, or you want me to just do a FaceTime uh, and walk you through another coach, I can do that. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next time. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill.
and uh, as usual, I'm pretty excited today. We have a fantastic offering for you. This is a 2022 Numar. Uh, you're tuning in here live at Facebook or at uh, YouTube uh, at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And as usual, I would love to start our video from uh, the back. So Jody, take her on back. Uh, today's video is particularly exciting because it's the first uh, RV that we've had come in the 4059 floor plan that wasn't uh, a demo from the auto show. So this is a great new floor plan. This is a bath and a half model. Uh, so this is the, the Numar Superstar. And uh, one of the really nice things about this is in this segment, uh, it's very difficult to get everything that you want. And this coach pretty much has it. It's a bath and a half model with a really big shower. Uh, it's got a three point, I'm sorry, it's got an 8.9 liter engine, uh, so 360 horsepower with 1,150 foot pounds of torque, so lots of power and really nice finishes. So, um, one of the things you'll notice here is that we can adjust our shower head. It can go higher and lower. We also have a rainfall up here, as well as a nice little shelf to keep all of our uh, shampoo and conditioner. And then right here, I'd like to talk about the Aquaview, uh, Aquaview system. So the Aquaview system is really, really special. What it does is by turning this little knob over to this side, it will recirculate the water. So you've got a you know 105 gallon water capacity in this coach. Um, I'm sorry, 150 gallon water capacity in this coach. And one of the things that we'll run into, uh, you know, when using our gray water tanks is they'll fill up before we use our fresh water up. So what this does is this actually allows you to recycle your water uh, from the fresh water tank back into the freshwater tank while it heats. And then when you turn it this direction, it stops that recircul recirculation and it actually then starts to go into that gray water tank, allowing you to only start to fill that gray water when you're actually using the shower itself. So really, really cool feature there. Also, as you can note, I'm sitting down in this shower, plenty of room to shave my legs, wash my feet at the end of the day. And then if I want the extra room in the shower, I can go ahead and put my teak bench up against the wall. So really nice feature there. Uh, and what I'm sure that this has everything that you could possibly want. Uh, one of the things that we're always lacking in RVs is extra storage. So take a look at all of this cabinet space. So you've got a really nice storage area here. You have more storage available in a hidden compartment underneath. If you want to get in there and take a look, Jody. So great place to keep any kind of boxes of shoes, boots, any extra materials you might have. You'll also notice that this client opted for the optional safe feature uh, in this coach, which is super nice. And then take a look at all of this drawer space. So these are all beautiful uh, maple, um, soft clothes, hardwood finishes. Um, this is just a really, really nice deep drawer. As you can see, lots of room for any of your bathing suits, shorts, socks, whatever you might need in your camping trip ton of room underneath here for any kind of linens or towels and then even after that another two additional drawers for toiletries and uh, right above this beautiful glass back tile uh, backsplash and of course is high polish uh, solid countertops we have a really big medicine cabinet and I really like the fact this is carpet lined on all of the shelves so you're not going to have rattles but tons and tons of room here uh, for you while you're on the road uh, now, the other thing that I think is really interesting about this coach is you'll see across from, uh, the, to uh, from, the, from the washer and dryer here, this toilet's got kind of its own cubby. Uh, so this is a really nice feature. So you actually have some privacy um, with this wall in between. And then this is our egress door. Uh, of course, these egress doors are really cool. What you do is you can just unlock this, pull this open, and then this magnetic cover comes off and deploys a ladder that you can reuse so it's not like a one-time use. Uh, but if you need to get out of your coach in a hurry, you've got an exit here or just a great place to load linens. Um, really nice towel bower here. And then, of course, Ro Numar always has a good robe hook. And I mentioned earlier that we had our washer and dryer. Look at the size of this drawer underneath here to keep all of your, uh, you know, laundry detergent, dryer sheets, etc. And then, of course, you've got your really nice Splendid uh, wash stackable washer and dryer. One of the things that's really nice about this uh, washer and dryer is you've got a bunch of different settings that you can use um, and you can use this while you're in motion. So a lot of people will ask me about that. Can we use this while we're in motion? And the answer is unequivocally yes. Um, it's great to get your laundry done before you get to your destination so that you can spend the time when you're camping, actually camping and not doing laundry. 
Uh, so we do have a really nice skylight here, and then right above Jody, we have a fantastic fan. And we'll find those throughout the coach. This coach does have two uh, air conditioning uh, and heat pump units. They're 15,000 BTUs. Right now, we're actually using um, the Oasis system to heat the coach uh, with the hydronic heat. Uh, it's really doing a nice job for us. It was, it's really cold out today. Uh, yesterday, we didn't even break 30, uh, and we've had this huge ice storm, so I'm sorry we're a little off schedule. We did two videos for you today instead of the one yesterday, uh, but honestly, like I had a lot of friends that were driving to the top of their driveway and sliding back into the street, so we weren't about to take out these big RVs. Um, all of that being said, this coach is a really nice temperature inside and it's running off of that hydronic heat. This is an all electric coach. So the 4059 is uh, a bath and a half model uh, with a mid bath in, or a half bath in the middle, a full bath in the back, and then a king size bed. So look at the size of this bed. Absolutely spectacular. Um, I love this headboard. The mirrored effect just makes the room look all that much bigger. As you'll note, we have ventilation on either side. And then up here, we have a new feature for 2022, which is an all lights off switch and also control for all of our uh, reading lights and such. And then up here above this, uh, you'll see that in our cabinets, we have two 110 outlets. So you can run any kind of medical device. Uh, there's grommets here that pass through. So if you wanted to have a cord drop through, maybe to use your laptop or your iPad, you could do that as well. Um, in terms of phone charging, you won't need to use that for your phone charger. You can do that right here. We've got two USB ports and a 110 outlet, and then a nice place to kind of store your water bottles, any kind of books you might be reading next to your bed. And then I love um, these decorative sconces on either side of the bed. I just wanted to show you though. So people are always worried about how to clean those. Really cool, Numar allows you just to go ahead. They're magnetic, they remove. You put them back in place after you clean them. Really nice, you can do that throughout the coach because I can imagine that people are like, how are you gonna clean those? Okay, so here are our two leaf extensions. So you'll notice that we have these two extra chairs. We do have the Euro Dinette opposing theater seats, which is also exciting. We've never seen that in this coach yet. Um, and then you'll note on either side of the bed, there's a lot of really good cubby space down here. So if you did have a tote and you wanted to keep some extra gear in there, uh, you absolutely could do so. Um, this coach is gonna be really nice to house um, all of your guests as well as yourself. And if you'd like some privacy, of course, we've got our door here. And then we have a pocket door as well going into the bathroom. And then I just wanted to point out right here, so those hydronic, uh, the hydronic heat is a tube of antifreeze that's being heated by our tankless watt hot water heater. Um, so this coach does have uh, endless hot water supply as long as you're plugged into city water and you've got 50 amp, you could literally just take a shower for as long as you wanted. But what it's doing right now is it's heating that hydronic fluid underneath the coach and it's blowing it, uh, it's blowing air over that hot tube of liquid into the coach and that's what we're using to heat the coach. Uh, now I talked about extra storage, so of course we still have two really nice wardrobes in here as well. Um, all of these are gonna have LED lights as well as LED puck lights in the ceiling. Uh, but so extra storage in the back, his and hers in the bedroom, really nice deep drawers here as well, and you'll see these are full extensions, so they actually come out past the wardrobe so you can still access them uh, without hitting your head. Uh, and they're really, really nice and roomy. As you'll see here, you've got two smaller ones in the middle, and then over here on this side, uh, we do have a really nice uh, traveler uh, satellite system uh, that we've installed on this coach. So this would be a great place if you wanted to keep a DVD player. Uh, but of course, these are all smart TVs so you don't necessarily need a satellite system in this RV. Um, but if you'd like to have one, the way that we've got the Wally system set up, you could change your station here in this room and then go into the next room and change the station, it would change as well. So it's one of those uh, systems where you don't need to have a remote for each bedroom, which is really nice. Um, of course, we've got a nice dresser area here along with another emergency exit. And then we also have another two 110 outlets up here as well. So I just wanna point out all of those, uh, all of those power sources because I know that those are important to everybody. Um, now you'll notice here that we do have this beautiful porcelain floor. Uh, so one of the things that's important to understand that in this segment, uh, you're gonna be really looking at the two top uh, Super C producers as being Renegade, which does much more of a motor cabin, and then Numar, which does a little bit more of a motor home. So they're of course uh, the king of, you know, the king air, they're the king of the class A segment. And when we introduced the Superstar into this segment, 
we kind of took a hybrid between the super C rough and tumble, maybe a little more rugged, and we mixed that in with the finesse and the prowess that you had in that Numar line. So you get this beautiful tile, and then of course you also get other little niceties, like central vac. And then of course we have our hose attachment right here as well. Um, so some of the a little more high-end features you would hope to find in the segment. Another thing to take a look at here is our designer feature ceiling. Um, I love all of these accent lights. Of course we can change the different lights throughout the coach, but these accent lights that are coming from the designer feature ceiling are really nice and soft and they hide all of those returns. A lot of people will ask me, uh, how do you access them? And I'll show that to you in the front. You can actually just pull this cover down. There's a few filters you'll wanna change probably once or twice a year, depending on how much years you got out of your coach, um, but they're really easy to work with. Uh, Jody, you can go ahead and come on up. I'll let you change places with me. I'm gonna show you the center bath. So the half bath model, I had a client tell me the other day that he wanted to turn this into an office. And I guess you could turn it into an office. It's, I mean, it kind of is an office, right? Uh, so it's got this nice pivot door, which gives you a little more room. As you can see, you've got really good storage here underneath. Um, you've got this beautiful vessel sink on the, on the polished surface uh, countertop with that, again, that, that glass uh, tile backsplash, which is really pretty. You've got a ton of storage in here. I just don't know if you could turn this into an office. Um, for the record, we do have an office model. Uh, so here is, of course, that corner uh, medicine cabinet as well. And again, two 110 outlets. So if you are like we are in our family, we've got an early riser and a sleeper inner. I'm the sleeper inner, my boyfriend's the early riser. This would be his bathroom, uh, but he would have everything he would need, you know, to power his razor and all those things here in this bath. He could actually just kind of, you know, stock up in here and get up early and make me breakfast. Hi, honey. We do have a superstar, by the way, so this will be a really functional video for us. Oh, take a look at this. So this is where we have our wine guard system, and you'll see on top of this too, we've got our cradle point. Uh, so the cradle point, all we can just talk about briefly, this is gonna give uh, this RV its own network. So it, you can actually log in and change the name to it, uh, you know, name or whatever you'd like. We have uh, little D is the name of our coach. Uh, and you can log in and you can actually have two up to two SIM cards running both AT&T and Verizon or T-Mobile, whatever it is that you have, and you're actually using your own account for that. And it's got a huge antenna up on top and it will give you the capacity to be able to do Zoom calls while you're on the road or to make good use of those 5K TVs if you're a Netflixer or somebody who's using Hulu a lot. That's just gonna be a great system. The other thing that's nice is it's secured and you can lock it. So for instance, we let my daughter use her school computer when she's doing her online Zoom classes while we're traveling cross country and she's not in class. Um, for, uh, for, for school only, we don't let her have it on her phone because she would just watch Netflix all day and burn up our bandwidth. So really kind of a nice way to be able to control that. Uh, that's a feature that we added here at TransWest for this particular client. We also added three 175 watt solar panels. Uh, Numar has a flat panel, so they do four 100 watt panels for 400 watts. Our uh, 300, I'm sorry, our three 175 watt panels are not flat panels, they're raised. Uh, but you've got a little more solar, you get 525 watts of solar. And of course we have eight AGM batteries in here for a total of 800 amp hours. That solar is just looking for a place to go for storage. So that 525 watts of solar combined with all of those amp hours that you have in those AGM batteries gives you a really great uh, capacity for boondocking. So for those of you that wanna get off the beaten path, this is a great coach for that, for sure. Um, now we're gonna take a look here at some of the more residential style features. Uh, for instance, having a water dispenser on the door. This is very much a Numar type of thing. Also having this, you know, high-end refrigerator with, you know, your stinky cheese drawer, you know, enough room for your vegetables and your, and your fruits, an adjustable shelf for all of your Prosecco. Uh, so yes, uh, definitely a, a, a refrigerator made for somebody who is looking for that high-end high -end residential feel. Also, you'll note that we have a really big freezer in here with an ice maker, deep storage trays as well. And again, just one of those really nice residential features. Of course, we're tying our Whirlpool refrigerator into our Whirlpool, Whirlpool microwave and convection oven. Uh, just as someone who's been on the market looking for um, the same product for a little project that we're working on at home, uh, this is a really nice microwave and convection oven. 
Uh, and honestly, one of the reasons that I chose a microwave convection combo is I, we were thinking initially just a microwave, but this is so handy. You can actually preheat this. Uh, there's different settings that you can use depending on what you're trying to cook. So it's actually pretty fine tunable. Some of them are a little more generic. This has got a lot of really nice settings. So you can actually use this to bake chicken. You can use it to bake cookies. You could use it to microwave a burrito. It's really got a lot of versatility in your kitchen. So once again, Numar bringing that really residential uh, style feel to their RV. This is something that you guys could go out and camp in for months at a time and be really comfortable. Uh, you'll notice here underneath, we have our true induction cooktop. So this is a really cool cooktop. I had somebody ask me, um, they just bought a King Air and they're like, what do we use for pans? I'm a huge all clad copper core fan. Uh, one of the nice things about this feature though, and one of the reasons that we definitely would recommend, uh, first of all, all electric, no propane on board, saves you room in terms of that storage, saves you convenience, you don't have to go fill your propane tanks, gives you a much more durable and a weather resistant form of heat for the entire coach. Um, but this true induction is a really attractive thing to me because I have a 13 year old daughter um, and she's a brilliant kid. But you know, making food in my RV, I can just see her like reaching over and catching something on fire. Uh, this, you could put a paper towel down, put one of those, uh, those copper core pans down on top of it. You can boil water with that paper towel underneath the, the um, pot and it will not catch on fire. So really, really important to understand that this is not just functioning because it gets your food uh, hotter quicker. It's more precise in its temperature. It doesn't have any kind of fluctuation in performance from elevation because the air being thinner doesn't change the flame heat since it's electric. Um, but also when you have this true induction, one of the nice things that Numar does is they allow you to take this outside. Oh gosh, is it stuck? Okay, I swear you could take this outside. <laughs> But you can actually pick this up, take it outside, and use it on your picnic table as well as in your uh, as well as in your RV. So really, really nice feature there. And then you'll also notice that on top of uh, this this cutting or on top of this cover, I, on the other side, I have just showing you the cutting board that's on the other side of this cover, along with the remotes that come with this coach. Um, I just wanted to bring out, you know, so if you get the additional option, uh, you can get power locks for all of the bays outside with a remote. Super, super handy. A really nice feature to have. Of course, you've got a doorbell with a keypad. That's also a really, really nice higher end feature. Um, that keypad allows you not to bring your keys with you. And then of course, this just allows you to unlock all of your cubbies instead of having to bring your keys out and trying to figure out which key it is that unlocks everything. This is for your Bose sound bar. Uh, this is for the Gerard Nova awning package. So we do have the extra awning package, which come with an integrated gutter uh, for a rain gutter. And then also a really nice full breadth, uh, full width uh, Nova awning. It's a two awning system. So we'll take a look at that later. And then there's of course one of the two remotes that you have here. Now you'll note you can have an additional uh, washer or dishwasher here by Fisher Pagel. But if you don't have one, look at how much drawer space you get. I mean, this is fantastic. That is so much more drawer space. Uh, so those two drawers uh, could be replaced by a dishwasher, but when they're not, it's just a lot of room. And of course the cooktop, it has to have a place to live. So that goes here in this drawer, uh, which is why you have a false front. But I love the way Numar does this. It makes everything look really consecutive. Of course, these are all nice soft closed doors. So you can see they suck in. And they're all different widths. So you have these more narrow drawers up top. Of course, you're gonna use those for things like spatulas, uh, but something like this, you know, maybe you're gonna use this for your hand towels, your, um, your hot seats for your uh, pots and pans. And then I love this little drawer here for your dish, uh, dish brush and sponge. And then right below our uh, dual basin, so I'll show that to you as well. We've got a dual basin stainless steel undermount sink. Really, really nice feature, love that. Uh, we also have the optional kitchen window, again, flanked in that beautiful glass tile. Uh, a residential fa style faucet with both spray and pour but you also have this great little island. So I love this little bad boy. So that just drops down like that, but it gives you so much extra space and you can still open this door with it down and access, of course, your trash can as well. Uh, and just so you know, you can get a little bit bigger trash can than that. It's nice that, uh, you know, Newmark thinks that campers are manure and don't make a lot of waste, but it's a little bit small if you ask me. 
Um, we just took delivery of ours. That's like one of the first things we did was got it. We got a bigger trash can. So, okay, love this. For those of you who've been waiting this whole entire video to see this, um, thank you for tuning in and watching us live. If you just wait for it to go to YouTube, you can go to TTT RV, Trans West Truck Trailer RV, and find all of our videos. And then you can just fast forward to the stuff you're interested in. But I love this. This is like the first time I've ever seen these. These are fantastic. So what has allowed us to do this? We had the 4051 last year. So the 2021 4051 had a single slide, full wall slide. This is the first Super C in the segment. Um, Newmar brought the first Super C to the marketplace that had a full wall slide. So that's what makes this room so big. But last year we added this slide. So the opposing slide going out is what's given us this extra room where we could actually have our Euro booth with our TV on the televator. Um, and we could have the opposing uh, theater seats. This, so this is a really, really nice, fantastic new feature that you've gotten because of this extra room that we've gained by adding that third slide on the, uh, dr on the door side of the RV. Um, so here in the center, you'll see tons and tons of incredible storage with a cover so you could just keep all your remotes and everything in here, store all your DVDs. I mean, there's just so much room in there. Um, I love that if you look inside of this, it's got a little USB charging port right there next to the controls so that you can keep your phone charged. This is the Televator switch. It's the only switch that we have that kind of, this comes from like a Baystar segment. Um, everything else is these nice touch panels that are backlit, um, but really, really just beautiful theater seating here. And then I wanted to just show you, because a lot of people will say, how do the windows open? This is how they open. So I love this feature. So right now, if it was raining, it would be, you would be able to keep your window open and have that beautiful, you know, fresh rain smell coming into your coach without the water coming into your coach. So that's how those open. That one opens, these open, this one opens. Uh, you've got 110 outlets over here and then more storage on top. Great place to keep all of your dishes. This is the cover that snaps in place for the driver segment. I'll show you where those snaps are in just a minute but tons and tons of room. So if you wanted to keep all of your dishes on one side, maybe like games and things like that on the other side, you could certainly do that in this RV, very organized. And then when you're in motion, it's just nice to have a place to keep things like your suntan lotion, maybe your bug spray, anything that you might wanna keep handy for when you're getting in and out of the coach. Now here we have Again, more storage once again. So this is just one of those really nice features that Numar offers. Um, this would be a great place to keep a laptop. Um, if you had any kind of office supplies and maybe you wanted to have um, like all your phone chargers on that side, you could do that. And then here on this side, you could keep like cereal, bread, you know, anything that you didn't, you weren't able to keep in your pantry that you wanted to lay flat. And then of course, we also have this great pantry space as well. So I really, really like this about this RV. As you can see, you push in on these to release, and then they come out. These are adjustable, which is a really nice feature. There's just different little holes, so you can change the height of them, but they're all full extension, all hardwood, super high-end uh, uh, construction once again, and then just a nice little locking mechanism. But because they lock into place, we don't have to have that push button lock release that we used to have anymore. And of course, that was great for those of us who remember to use it, but when we forgot to use it and we pulled it open and we broke the little clip off, it cost us $11. So just nice not to have that anymore. Great, great idea by Numar. Um, here's another one of those hydronic vents. So again, I've got some nice, really warm air coming out of this vent, keeping this coach hot on a really, really cold day. Uh, another feature that you'll see here in this Numar that you won't find in other coaches is the SEP cover. So this is a really, really nice feature to have. Um, if you have pets and you're in motion, they can come in and you don't have to worry about them getting stuck down in the step well. Now, if you open the door from outside and the step well is covered, there's a pocket underneath there where you could keep your pets. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> one of these days, someone's gonna report me in one of those vehicles and, and the PETA people are gonna show up at my doorstep. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about Oasis. Uh, so in 2022, we launched a dual loop Chinook system. It's just giving you uh, more control over the zoning of your Oasis system. But right now we've been running um, our new Superstar on AC2 while plugged into 50 amp, and it has been keeping our coach clean. 
Now we can run it off of burner as well, so we can run it off of the hydronic system, but we've just been running it off of power. Uh, you'll notice here that we have an HWH leveling system. That hydronic level or hydronic fluid leveling system is different than the equalizer system. HWH uh, makes all of our hydraulics for our hydraulic slides. They make our hydraulic steps, which we'll see in just a second. And they make our leveling system. We've had a contract with them for over 30 years. It's a fantastic manufacturer, a little bit different than what you might find in the marketplace. And then this little system here is just nice. It's just telling you where, what's working, where everything's coming in, uh, what's on. So you can kind of run through all of your systems, see what your charge looks like. Of course, this is your inverter. Uh, this little guy here is awesome. Just telling you, here's what we're running right now. We're running the furnace. It's 48 degrees inside. We have it set to high. I can turn the fan uh, to low. You can hear an audible difference right away, but I can still run my furnace, turn my fan to low and have like a little bit a lower noise. So one of the benefits of a hydronic heat system is that you can run uh, something that's not going to be as noisy as a heat pump. Uh, and then here you'll see we have our tank controls and we can see what our charge is here for both house and chassis as well as where we are with our black and gray water tank. And I promise you that's not, that's not black water. Uh, Dan, that is just uh, hydro it's just uh, antifreeze because this coach is winterized right now. Uh, so we also have here the uh, wine guard system. One of the things that's nice about the wine guard system is it's telling me we've got 17 local channels. So instead of me having to actually, uh, you know, get up and crank my antenna to go different places, it's actually searching and finding all the stations for me. Just a little more handy. Definitely not necessary, but I like to listen to the local news, especially if there's like any kind of fire information things along those lines for me to worry about. Uh, battery uh, disconnect. So this of course is where you turn off the house batteries. And then right here is where you would turn your block heater for your engine on. So if you knew you were leaving early in the morning, it was still cold like today. Uh, that's definitely something that I turned on before I started my engine. Uh, it's important to remember when you start up a diesel engine, let it cycle through, let it warm up and then turn it on. Uh, so lock and unlock for the entry, lock and unlock for those baggage doors. And then of course that step cover, which we just covered right now. And then this is the reset uh, switch. So if you need to reset the coach for some reason, that's what you would use. All right, so I think we've covered just about everything in here. Um, I didn't mention yet uh, that this is extendable. I know I showed you the leaves in the back, uh, but when you put those extra two chairs out there, this is a really, really nice feature that we did not have available before. So this extendable Euro booth dinette gives you a lot of sitting room. Um, uh oh. Did I do it? No, I did. Okay. There's a, there's a table leg that's right here and I have to make sure I don't drop it down. And that's designed to hold that extra weight, uh, but I got it back. It's good. Uh, keep in mind here, we have another two 110 outlets, also two more USB ports, another full bank of windows. Of course, our LED recessed puck lights once again, and then more room. And I know we talked about this already. We talked about that we added uh, the solar and the Wally system in the cradle point but here is just the package that came from us here at TransWest. So we also added a satellite receiver. This coach did not have one. And it's one of those big in motion one that pops up and like makes everybody go, wow, who's that badass? Uh, so yeah, that's on this too. Um, this is, I don't know if you saw the Colfax exterior, but uh, this is the Gotham interior, the Colfax exterior. And if you didn't see this coach on the way in, when we get out there, I'm sure it's a head turner. I mean, this is definitely, one of those RVs that is a neck breaker. That's one of the best things about this Super C. Now something else that I really love, right there. Take a look at that panoramic sunroof. That is so, 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 so cool. Okay, so we talked about 150 gallons of fresh water. Uh, we talked about your 60 gallon gray water tank. You have a 40 gallon black water tank. So lots and lots of capacity for going off the grid. Um, I mentioned that I was gonna show you how this comes down. Don't worry, Jody. I won't bonk you in the head. So all of your uh, returns are right here. So this is kind of fun. A lot of people don't get to see this and they just pop in. There's these little plugs and you can actually take these down and change these filters out. And then you just push back in and you just push. You can kind of hear it pop into place. And it's just nice because it's not something that requires two people to be able to do that maintenance. And then you can make sure that everything's nice and fresh for your road trips. Okay. So look at all of this additional storage. Now I'm going to let you know the RV industry right now, there's a lot of good people in demand. If you call Bruce Bordner might not answer the phone anymore, but you can still call this 1-800 number. And this goes directly to an after hours cell phone. 
and you can also email Super C Service. Numar is second to none. Uh, they really have the best customer support ever. Uh, Noogle is like Google for your Numar. Uh, Nupar is a parts system. You can actually have parts shipped directly to you anywhere in the country. Of course, Freightliner chassis service is fantastic. Uh, so all of those great things are available uh, in your Numar and really set them apart from the rest. Uh, another bank of great cabinet space. Can you see that? <laughs> all right. And a little more storage over here. Now, when you're looking at this, you're looking over here to the right going, what is that big black rainbow? Okay, so what this is, is you have airbags uh, on this coach. And you actually have your own, uh, your own air system on the front cab. There's, I'll show you where to turn that on and off underneath the coach today. Uh, so this cab itself is on an air ride system separately from the RV. And this is where that pivot point is. So if you can imagine, if my neck didn't exist and it was just mounted to my head, if I hit something, I would the whole, all of me would wiggle waggle. With this setup, the way it is, is if you hit a bump, you might move around here, but your head stays nice and level. Same thing goes with this coach. This is gonna be on its own separate air ride system. So the back of the coach can go ahead and be as wonky as it wants. You're not gonna feel it up here in the front. That's a big, big feature difference. Uh, this is the only manufacturer that doesn't connect all of those pieces together and weld them so that they have a continuous rail system. Uh, we're also the only uh, manufacturer that uses what's called the star foundation. And we'll talk about that a little bit more outside. It is really, really a big difference maker. The star foundation stands for strong, true, and robust, and they're not kidding. It is a really, really awesome system. It raises the coach up, gives you extra base storage, but even more importantly, it supports that three inch subfloor that gives that coach that really uh, well insulated, quiet, uh, ride that you'll have in a Numar. So we don't just do that in our class A's, we do it in our super C's as well. Um, so a few things first, this is going to be because I have my hydraulic leveling system up and it doesn't like me to have the coach running um, when my drags are down. I'm going to do it anyway, so I apologize in advance for the extra noise, but I wanted to just to show you a few different things up here. First of all, one of the most important things and one of the biggest differences is that we have our new camera system on here. Uh, so really, really nice feature. We have a, uh, our full camera system is going to be hitch, right, rear, left. And then you also have your new, uh, your new Nav and Go navigation system. And then you have all of your different uh, favorites you can, score, you can store here. Sirius satellite radio is optional. We have that on this coach as well. Um, so this is just a really, really nice setup that you have here on this RV. And we also have house mode. And that's designed so that when you're camping, you don't have this uh, display up and showing in your RV. So just a really, really nice feature here. Um, and then this is the big deal. So. In 2021, we brought in our 360 OmniView camera system. And as you can see, I can see all around the coach. Uh, Avin's gone through it, opened up all the bay doors for us since the beauty shot that we took on our way in. But as you can see, I can see all my doors here. I can see the left. I can see the back. I can see everything from the top down. So that's just a really, really nice new feature. Um, other things we should talk about, Allison transmission, power windows, heated mirrors, power lock push to lower the vehicle. Um, with the hydraulic leveling system uh, by HWH, you don't actually have to dump your rear airbags. They'll dump on their own and then they'll level the coach. That way, if you have a propensity to have a higher uh, or a, a, a higher bias in the, in the tail, it'll drop down before it brings up those front jacks so you don't bend those front jacks forward. Uh, engine brake, high and low setup. Um, shade up, ooh, that's shade up. Let's do shade down. So just, you know, this is on a track. So for those of you that get frustrated with this, every once in a while you get hung up. Uh, it doesn't have to go down evenly. You just have to make sure that if it comes down kind of wonky, just push it up a little bit, it'll adjust down and go straight. But this is like one of the coolest features about this coach. So as you can see here, you can actually get all of this coverage. There we go. That's what I was talking about. So all of this is covered so you can black out this overhead section. And then these snaps here, I mentioned that earlier that I would tell you where you could plug that curtain in. They go all the way around the front. So you can still actually have your seats turned around. So you can have your uh, recliners turned around. 
Uh, these are air ride and heated as well. Uh, there's an armrest on either side. That's a really important feature for me. It's adjustable to your height, uh, but you can turn these around and make use of them with your curtain in place. Um, so we're not gonna turn the air brake off right now. That would be dangerous. Um, oh, so one of the fun things, these windshield wipers, they actually spray from the wiper blades. I think that's so cool. Um, I actually never realized that until I used them today. So the spray came out and it was actually helping me to de-ice the windshield from right in the middle of the ice. Instead of trying to shoot through the snow, they're actually on the blade themselves. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, things you learn. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna, oh, one more thing. Just in case you wondered, yes, she is a semi-truck. Um, so there's that. That's probably enough for now. Let's go ahead and turn our generator off. So you'll see that that's generator control right there. Uh, you also have generator control outside. You do have an eight kilowatt or 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator running off 100 gallons of uh, fuel. Uh, you do have a dual, uh, dual tank on this coach. So you've got two 50 gallon fuel tanks. I would highly encourage you. Um, DEF is on the driver's side. Fuel is on the front uh, passenger and driver's side. Do all three at once, come in, get your tank rolling on the first side, get your uh, diesel fuel in, uh, then go across the other side, get your other diesel fuel in and fill up both tanks simultaneously. That way you're not waiting forever to get those tanks. Uh, there is a bleed over, but it would take, I don't know, like an hour. No one has time for that stuff. Oh, before I do that, we'll open the door. Really, really like this screen door. Uh, really nice, super durable, get the bugs out. Really nice feature there. So, and then Jody, why don't you go ahead and head down those uh, beautiful HWH hydraulic steps. So this is something that I cannot get in uh, any, uh, Ventana for instance, would not have this step system. Uh, you have to get up into your higher level of, uh, of uh, RVs, but on the Superstar, it comes standard with this great step system. Look at how low to the ground this is. It's really, really nice. Uh, so we absolutely love that. Um, again, we talked about this earlier. This is that Colfax exterior. Just a gorgeous coach. Um, you'll notice here, I'm off the ground, but not that much. Uh, so what's nice about this again, as I mentioned, in the back, the HWH system will actually dump your rear bags before it puts your hydraulic leveling jacks up so you don't have to have too much raise. Of course, it's kind of cool to see a coach like this. A uh, beautiful convex chrome mirrors on the exterior. We talked already about this. This is gonna be your, uh, di your diesel fuel fueling uh, center here on the side. This is gonna be your uh, camera system for when you're making your lane changes. And then this camera right here is really, really handy. Uh, Super C's are definitely uh, not as nimble as class A's. But this little mirror right here really helps you to make sure that you're gonna clear whatever it is that you're looking at. And then I just wanted to show you from the inside here, one of the nice features is, is that step down is completely flat all the way until you get here into the cab. So you don't have a step down until you get right to the front where that carpet drops. And you'll see that JBL speaker here, you've got a really nice sound system and then really easy entry. Um, so one of the things Freightliner's really uh, into is making sure that you have different places to put your hands so it's easy to get up into the coach. So even on an icy day like today, it was really easy for me to feel secure getting in and out of this RV uh, to move it into place for the video. So I think that that's pretty awesome. Super solid feeling. Um, okay, so this little guy right here, there's a switch over here, Jody, if you can just show him. That's how you turn that compressor on. That air compressor is the cab's air compressor. So that powers that cab only. That would be turned off while you're camping uh, you don't need to turn it off, but if you don't and the cab starts to sink, uh, it will turn on in the middle of the night and you'll wonder what the hell it just turned on and it's your air compressor. So I would turn it off when you get to camping. Just turn it on when you hit the road. Um, one of the things I'll tell you, Numar has a wicked seal on their doors. They make a wicked seal. So these compartments are all carpet lined so they'll stay nice and quiet, but they made the seal better this year. So these doors are a little bit easier to close. So for those of you that have watched us struggle in the past with opening and closing doors. Numar heard what we asked for and they did go ahead 
and improve um, the steel. The seal is still good, but they're just a little easier to close. So take a look at how high uh, this this storage compartment is. I mean, this is so incredible. So what they've done is they've raised the chassis rail off of uh, or the, the foundation of this coach off of the coat, uh, chassis rail with the star foundation, but look at how much extra storage you have here. It's just incredible. Um, now, a lot of people will say, oh my gosh, why is the TV underneath here? Well, the TV's underneath here because you don't have bar stools camping, and if you do, you have way too much stuff in your RV. Uh, so this is just a great place where you've got your lawn chairs out, you're watching the game. Awesome. Of course, another Bose soundbar out here. Another remote control. This will still run with the Wally system. You can run your dash radio. So if you're listening, you know, to 850 or something like that, you can run your dash radio off of the uh, coach's head unit into this compartment off of your sound bar as well. So that's nice. Um, so these are beautiful slides. One of the things, if you haven't noticed before, Numar color matches uh, the interior of their slides. So this is this uh, masterpiece finish is just absolutely exquisite. Uh, but they've color matched. So when you open, you get that beautiful feel. Normally I will pull the slides in and show you walking space. Um, I have another 4059 that just came in two days ago. I'll be shooting that next Monday. So I don't know, four or five days from now, I'll show you walking uh, space in that coach. Uh, here's that doorbell though we talked about earlier. So just nice to have the doorbell and then you can set this code to be whatever it is that you need it to be to remember it so that you don't need to bring your keys with you. And then I wanted to show you these Gerard awnings. So take a look at how they pivot and they come down to give you better sun protection. If you didn't get this awning package, your awning would go back to about here and stop. So this is this dual awning system. Just really, really nice. And then I'll go ahead and bring that in. And you can see you've got these LED lights. So it'll illuminate your living room. But just a really, really cool uh, offering by Numar. And I mentioned earlier, uh, and uh, the video I did on my Superstar when it came in, I did shoot an overhead shot of where we put our solar panels. And uh, I, you know, this coach has everything hidden. You can't really see what's on top of there. So until, uh, until Dan puts his, Dan and Carrie put their, their satellite receiver up, no one's gonna know how cool their satellite receiver is because it's kind of hidden by the top of the coach because it goes down, but there's actually a rain gutter system on the top of this coach that drains down and doesn't come over the edges and give you those ugly watermarks. Um, now here is that egress door in the bathroom that we saw earlier. Uh, here is, a, is one of your slides. This is the only slide that you can get in this RV. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a three inch receiver. We also have the adapter to bring it down. You've got two balls, extra tile. These are the attachments for your central vac. There's an outlet here in this compartment. But more importantly, take a look at this compartment. I want you to see right here, that is the star foundation. So you can see how this is raised up and you can see above this. So you actually have pass through storage on a Super C, which is really unusual, but that is because of our star, our star foundation. So super, super cool. And then if I pull this bad boy, you see I'm using my sweater because you've got to really get it good. There it goes, oh, I heard it. My hands are so cold, folks. There we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is outside right now, but it's not warm. Um, so here's the road vac. So here's your central vac system. It's 29 for those of you that want to feel sorry for me. It is so cold. Um, so that you can use your attachments outside. But I love this garage system. So that handle I pulled gave me access to this garage. You've got all your top shelf, uh, you know, your crown, your Patron, got all your mixers. No, I'm just kidding. You're supposed to use it for oil, whatever. Uh, you could keep your broom here. So if you are late to work, you've got another mode of transportation. Just kidding. <laughs> and look at the, her butt. What a beautiful rig. Uh, Numar Superstar 4059. Uh, we have these really nice lights in the back as well, these are really bright LEDs. Again, you've got a 20,000 pound towing capacity on this coach. Uh, you'll see we've got all of our Voyager light systems pre-wired as well as your seven pin connector. Really nice adaptable hitch. 1,150 foot pounds of torque, plenty of towing capacity. Um, air shock, 
fill up your wheels. Ooh, mud flap. Pretty cool mud flap. Again, tons and tons and tons of storage capacity once again. And then here we have in this bay a little place to keep your sewer hose and your gloves. And I love, like, again, once again, you've got these really nice little lights that so you've got docking lights the whole way around this coach. Those optional docking lights are huge, especially if you get somewhere late at night, you're trying to clean up. And then look at this water bay. So hot and cold water outside, really easy access to your low point drain, uh, autofill. You've got your uh, rinses right here. So black tank valve open, gray tank valve open. Really, really easy to read. Whole house water filter, power water hose reel. Um, you know, and the outdoor shower having hot water. It's just nice. I mean, kids are kids. It doesn't matter if it's cold. You can spray them off, you know. But when they're being good and they vacuum the coach like they're supposed to, they help you get ready in the morning, you let them use a little warm water when you're spraying them off outside. I do have children, isn't that scary? Uh, two, uh, again, we talked about the Onan Quiet diesel generator, 8,000 watts, eight kilowatt. Um, right here on the left-hand side, you can see where you can prime that and start it from the outside if you wanted to. And then up here above, there's one of our 360 cameras. Keep in mind that camera system is optional. Make sure you get that. Uh, these are on pins. I can pull these pins, pull this tray out, Really nice, easy access uh, to the battery compartment. Something else that our competition does not do. Um, eight uh, AGM batteries. No, it's not lithium ion, but when you've got three lithium ion batteries at 240 amp hours a piece, you've got about 800 amp hours of storage. Right here, you have 800 amp hours of storage. The only difference is these are really inexpensive. So a great, great move on Numar's part. This is your hydraulic system. Again, HWH comes out on a tray, easy to service. And then on the left here, you've got your Oasis dual loop Chinook system that is new for 2022. We've got that dual loop system. Uh, we are one of the only manufacturers, in fact, we are the only RV manufacturer that uses Oasis. Really, really bulletproof system. Um, I can't speak highly enough of the fact that I don't have Oasis problems. Uh, it's just a bulletproof system. It's a marine grade system, so you'll usually find it on boats. Uh, we're the only manufacturer that uses it in RVs. Uh, this is your 50 amp power hose or power power cord. God, the voice of my GM ringing in my ears. He always makes fun of me for making that mistake, so I always make it. Uh, we also have the optional surge protector. Then of course, we've got your magnum inverter over here. As you can tell, the brains of the unit are all right here in the middle. And in this compartment right here, you also have your depth filling station as well as, do I have the keys? Let me just grab the keys really quick, folks. I'll show you some stuff. Um, your other fuel tank. Now, there you go. So really easy access. Close that up. It's locked. I know that that sounds cool or silly, but I mean, people steal stuff. You don't have to worry about them getting into your diesel tanks. Uh, here are your jump points for your positive and negative for your chassis batteries. And then all of this big, beautiful black frame is Freightliner. And this really sexy red engine is Cummins. This is again that 8.9 liter Cummins engine, 360 horsepower. It's the same 350 horsepower engine that they had in 2021. Our first 2022 Numar 4059 video was the only one you'll ever see that still had 350 horsepower in it. They, after that, the first two that came off the assembly line, they tuned them to 360 to meet emission standards, but they all have that same 1,150 foot pounds of torque. Of course, your fuel filter uh, and water separator are really easy to access here. Uh, all of your fluids are. Come around, Jody. Let's take a look. Here's that camera for the front. And um, I did add the cattle guard to my RV. So if you want a picture of that, feel free to send me a text. I'll send you a picture of it. It's pretty cool. I would get one if I was you. I got one. Um, here's your windshield washer fluid. Uh, and once again, really, really easy access. 
And I think, you know, a lot of people talk about it. I'll tell you, if you get in a fight with an RV in a car, I have a feeling you're gonna win anyway, but you definitely do have a lot more meat between you and another vehicle. Um, I don't think you would be any worse off in a Class A versus a Super C. Definitely have a little more punch, but accessibility is 100% true. Uh, much easier to get to that engine. Freightliner, of course, is so easy. There's so many Freightliner service centers. When you call them and you say you're coming in for service, don't tell them you're bringing your RV. Tell them you're bringing your semi truck because they'll be a lot more receptive to the fact that they're not working in an RV. And uh, when they see this thing, they're going to be freaking impressed. So anyway, my name again, uh, I should get my clipboard out. I'm Katie. Um, I just got rid of my Verona, which I loved for all of you guys who want to ask that question over and over again. Fantastic vehicle. Just picked up my Superstar. It's leaving on its first probably 6,000 mile road trip today. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. Reach out to me. I'm always available. 303-562-8659 is my direct. Again, 303-562-8659. And if I forget to get back to you, just send me another text. I'm just busy. Just busy selling RVs. I'd be happy to help you get one too. Thanks, guys. We've got two left in the 4059 in inventory. So give me a call and get one for you.